So up next, we will have a team's mud rescue. Uh, good evening, everyone. So um, today I'm going to present on the MUTS Rescue Project, which is an adoption management system. So firstly, um, I'm Jeanette, and in my team we have Ashley. Uh, no, we can't be here because of personal reasons. And um, Gabe is our coach, and he's awesome. And we have Jia, who's our user experience um, consultant. So firstly, what is MUTS Rescue? As its name suggests, it is a dog rescue group. Why do we need MUTS Rescue when we have SPCA and other animal welfare organizations? That's because there's too many dogs and too little assistance. And do you know what happens when there are too many dogs? <laughs> These dogs get put to sleep. So what MUTS Rescue aims to do is that he, they aim to help one save, save one life at a time. And how do they do that? Firstly, it's through rescue. So they get informed of cases of dogs that are stray, abandoned, abused, and they take them into their facility. At their facility, they aim to rehabilitate them. And they bring them to the vet, they feed them, they teach them basic comments. And for some dogs, because they have some trauma, you have to, they have to be taught how to handle human contact. And after they have adjusted and once they are ready for adoption, you put them up to rehome them, to find them new homes, new owners, people who can give them unconditional love. So Mats Rescue is in need of an adoption management system. Because as the quicker the dogs get adopted, the more dogs they can take in. And then more dogs get a chance at life. And how do they do that currently? So. Facebook is great. I'm not saying this because we're at Facebook. <laughs> but firstly, um, it gives them, they are quite a new organization, so it gives them a platform to reach out to public quite easily. So people can like their page, you can share their posts. And what did they do on their website is that um, they update status with the current docs that they have for adoption and give them some details. But because um, it's a status update, so as they update more and more posts, some of the dogs that are going to be adopt, uh, put up for adoption, you can't really see them at one glance. So if you're looking for a dog and you say like, okay, I'm going to adopt a dog, but you go to their website and you have to scroll through all the posts, read all their comments and say, oh, I really like this dog. Oh, Nacho is really cute. I want to adopt him, but how do I do that? So you have to send a private message and this is not a very efficient way of um, getting people to know about Mutt's Rescue. You can't really find out the details about the dogs. Like Sometimes people have a lot of the same questions. Uh, what does Mutt's Rescue do? Uh, what's HDB approval? These, these are a lot of information that they have to keep regurgitating. So what we have is that uh, tech ladies come to play. Literally. <laughs> Literally. So we went down to Mutt's Rescue. Um, well, these are, okay, this is not just what we only did. Of course, we play with the dogs and they're really cute. So if you are looking for unconditional love, uh, you can adopt, don't buy. <laughs> but um, really, I'm here to talk about our adoption management system. And um, these are the tools that we use. So um, Ruby, Ruby and Rails is our language and we communicate through Slack, Trello. Um, we use GitHub for version control, HTML, CSS, Bootstrap um, to put makeup on <laughs> for our website and um, host on Heroku and we use file stack to host the pictures. So this is what we have. This is our public website. So this is um, where you can find out more about Mutt's Rescue, um, about Mutt's Rescue, how you can contact them and how you can volunteer. So these are all the information that's embedded in their Facebook page, which can be easily seen in their public website. Most importantly, in one shot, you can see which are the dogs that are available for adoption. So we have Nacho from the Facebook page. So you can now you can see that, um, look at um, all the dogs that they have currently. 
and some people have very specific criteria. Like if you stay in a HDB flat or you say you only want to look for female dogs, I don't know why, but <laughs> specifically some people want that. Um, and also you say, um, I want to look for a puppy. So you can actually filter and find out the dogs that fit your criteria. When you click through, through the um, dog photo, um, you can see more pictures and as well as um, the information about the dog. So you can see like, oh, um, whether sometimes they put down things like their temperament and what's the health like. So you can get an idea of what you're getting into and also the expectations you have. So then after that, you can contact the much rescue organizer to adopt the dog. Um, I'll pass it on too. And um, also on the static pay pages, you also can learn how to get involved with Mutt's Rescue. So you can always, if you can't adopt, you can always volunteer. If you can't volunteer, you can foster. If not, you can donate. And um, so these are information that Mutt's Rescue would like to uh, educate the public about. And we'll move on to the admin site to see how that information gets put out into the front end. Hey, hello. Uh, so I'm going to talk about the back end, I mean back end of, uh, of the Mud Rescue website. So uh, this is the login page where the admin user will log in. And uh, when uh, the user logs in, you can see that there are six sections on the dashboard for the uh, user to go into. So they are, that's docs, there's locations, users, people, pages, and sponsorship. So just a minute, this is the most interesting part of the application, the backend, the database design. So this is an entity relationship diagram. This, that, this, is a this is a visualization of the database. At the heart of the database is a doc table, where you contain all the information on doc, the gender, the name, blah, blah, blah. So everything stems from the doc table. Everything relates to the doc table. So a doc has many photos, and a doc can be, can be a holding, can be a dog can be held at a location. They have a mud rescue. Actually, has holding facilities to you know to keep to keep the dogs. Uh, some the fosters are, are also stored inside the location table. Then there's dog updates because the admin admin has to uh, send uh, updates to the donors, I guess, the donors and the volunteers about the dogs they're interested in. So sometimes, like, say, uh, Nachos uh, is sick today, so he might need some medicine. Could you all please donate? That's a dog update. And then there is a sponsorship. People, uh, it, a dog can have many sponsorships, and then the sponsorships are linked to the people. All the volunteers, fosters, and donors are all stored inside the people uh, the table. So next. Uh, here we go, get back to the front end. Uh, Novi, our team member, actually did most of the front end, so I'm representing her to, to present her slides. So uh, this is the uh, doc section where the user will log in, and then this is an overview of all the docs. You can see that where you can take a, you can, get, you can see an overview of all the docs where you can see uh, docs that are adopted or looking for adoption. When you click on a doc, you can see the details of the doc. This is a very long sh doc show page. So basically, you can edit the details, uh, name, coloring, doc location. You can add photos, you can add basic information. And then to continue on, you can add more, you can add uh, details about the temperament, the health, the background story, and a quote to show on the public facing side of the website. So uh, this is what, where the user can enter updates. And there's a live shot of a doc. <laughs> Uh, included also is a sponsorship detail. So in one single page, the admin user can see all the details of the doc without, you know, like fiddling through papers and notes and Excel sheets. Uh, it used to be all over the Facebook post. Now it's all collected in one page. So uh, this is where the user, admin user can also edit the, the content on the front-facing page. So we can edit, like, say, about mud rescue or the ways to volunteer. Uh, this is the editing page. You click edit, and you know you can edit like a WordPress website. Yeah. So uh, lessons. I'll pass this to Jeanette. <laughs> okay. So um, what I learned about coding is that you have to be really detailed, and your attention to detail is very important. And sometimes your code has to be very precise, because the computer doesn't take bullshit from you. <laughs> <laughs> So if you miss a comma, a bracket, double, <laughs> inverted commas, the computer will tell you that 
sorry, I can't take that. There's a red screen in front of you and say, oh my God. So it really taught me how to be precise and to have attention to detail. Um, for me, it was uh, the problems I faced uh, while doing the boot camp was a time constraint because uh, three weeks into the boot camp, I uh, joined Tinkerbox as an intern. So um, it was I had to learn Rails during the day, Ruby and Rails during the day, and I have to go back and code. It, it was very hard because uh, I was pretty stressed out like this, I guess. Um, but the things I learned was that, you know, don't be afraid to look stupid. You know, ask questions and then don't be embarrassed. Um, you know, if you don't look stupid, you don't learn, you know. Uh, also, um, uh, I mentioned that I'm interning at Tinkerbox. Uh, I'm actually looking for the position, on the lookout for the position of a junior developer. My name is Ashley. So you can, you know, just, <laughs> just talk to me later. I'll be collecting name cards. <laughs> yeah, so uh, thanks to uh, Elisha, uh, tech ladies, and Gabe. Gabe and all the coaches, uh, we have a present for Gabe. It's a little balloon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gabe. No questions? Any, any questions so far? So just, oh, before I get into question, the question, so just to repeat. So Ashley, before, she, before Ashley joined the bootcamp, she started her own blog. Taking down notes on uh, what she has learned has been immensely helpful for a lot of applicants who were trying to get into the bootcamp. And uh, since when she just got in the bootcamp, she's like coding like crazy. Every day you see commits coming from her. And like you say, week three or week four, she got an internship. Yeah, it's around there because uh, Ted, Ted was in a uh, work coach. I said, oh, think about some. I should just go there and apply for internship. <laughs> I didn't know what I was getting into. <laughs> yeah, so if anyone wants to hire, highly recommend Ashley. Uh, you have a question? Yeah, uh, the front end of your site is really well done. Um, who designed it? And did you have fun putting on makeup on your website? <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, it was quite difficult because um, when you start designing then in the CSS, then you realize that things like white space, margins, font size, whether you increase them by 0.8 or 0.1 actually makes a lot of difference. Um, so um, a lot of the design inspiration came from looking at other websites and also the image we wanted Mutt's Rescue to convey. And we had the Polaroid stickies as kind of um, a uh, portfolio for all the pictures for the dogs so you can see them in one shot. Yeah, thank you. Any other questions? Okay, awesome. Thank you so much, Mats Rescue. <laughs> also, just to be clear, when we went to the shelter, we were not playing with the dogs. It's very serious. We're there to visit our clients, make sure they're comfortable with us, okay? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>